Amshad from India says, are there any Sunnah acts that if we do not do, we will be sinful? First of all, you have to understand the terminology in order to judge things. So when we say Sunnah, this has two meanings. If you're referring to the meaning which juror uses when they use the juror uses a particular meaning for that which is if you do it you're rewarded if you don't do it you're not sinful so they're talking about the five um, legislative rulings which is regarded uh, or regarding the acts we do so we have Wajib, mandatory, mustahab, recommended, permissible, mubah, makruh, not recommended, and we have prohibited, which is muharram, haram. So the mustahab is also called sunnah, meaning if you do it, that's good. If you don't do it, there's no sin on you. So if you're referring to this, then let it be known. The five daily prayers are wajib, fart, the top of the uh, uh, ladder. Then we have the voluntary prayers, the sunan, al-rawatib, al-nawafil, witr, night prayer, duha. All of these are highly recommended sunnah. If I do them, I'm rewarded. If I don't, there is no sin on me. Likewise, makruh, things that are disliked. If I do them, I'm not sinful. But if I abandon them, then I am rewarded. So they are in contrast. Sunnah and makruh. Mustahab and makruh. So if you're asking about this, Akhi, then yes. If you leave any act that is sunnah, there is no sin on you, but you will lose the reward. And likewise, if you, lo if you miss praying witr, or if you miss praying the rawatib, you're not sinful, but you lose a great deal of reward.